Today, I'm gonna to show you how to wire and code a KY020 tilt switch module, so let's go. All right, so first off, you can pick these up online. I've got a few links in the description for eBay, AliExpress. They're all pretty cheap, a few dollars uh, with shipping as well. So basically, a tilt switch module is kind of like a switch, except inside this little package, there's a metal ball and the metal ball rolls back and forward. And then once it gets enough force and that degree of inclination, the ball will roll and activate the switch inside. Now it is uh, bi-directional. So basically it will open and close the circuit when it's tilted and we'll get a digital output through one of the pins but I'll go through that a little later on. Next, I wanna jump into the specs of the module. Now, it's pretty straightforward because like I was saying, all it is is a ball inside there that rolls around. Now, it also has a 10K resistor on it, which you would have a resistor on all switches that you set up for your Arduinos, but I can show you that in another video. But basically, we have the operating voltage of 3.3 volts up to five volts and it's just got a digital output. As for the wiring of this module, it basically has the three pins. So we have the voltage or the VCC, which goes into that center pin on the module. And then we have a ground that goes to the negative on the module. And then the S, which is the signal, goes to one of your digital pins. It doesn't really matter which pin it goes to in the digital pins, as long as you adjust your code to accommodate to that. One thing to point out with some of the generic KY modules that you can pick up online, sometimes the signal and the negative are actually wired around the other way. So you just have to test it. If it doesn't work, you can try flipping it around, and double check. But you'll know because that LED light won't light up when you test after you've coded it. Just want to point out as well, my signal pin that I've connected from the module is going to that digital pin 52 because I'm using a Arduino Mega. Now I just have to make sure that I reflect that in the code, which we'll go through right now. Now the code is very basic to actually read that digital pin. All we're actually doing is just a digital read serial. So as long as we set the first line, which is that pin we're assigning now, I assigned mine to 52 because I plugged it into pin 52, but whatever you put it into, you just change it to that. Now, the second line is the LED pin, which is always 13 on the Arduino, Mega and Uno, so you don't need to really change it, but it's only just so we can show that there's something happening. There's This would usually be whatever you're triggering or something like that, you would say, that if you want to turn on an LED or if you want to flick something, an output on or have it just display on the serial monitor, whatever you want, this is just for this example here. We're then just having a variable in the third line, which will basically say tilt state is either zero or one. And that's basically detecting uh, what the state of the digital pin coming from that module will be. So if the switch isn't contacted, it'll be zero. But when that ball rolls, it then contacts in the switch, which sends the digital signal in. And then we would be reading that. In the setup, we're just assigning both that LED pin as an output and the tilt pin as an input. And that all comes down to this one line of code, which is all the basically this whole coding is is it looks in and says tilt state is equal to whatever's coming in from that pin, which we're assigning as the tilt pin. So whenever it reads it, it goes, am I one or am I zero? And then it's assigning the tilt state as that uh, integer as a one or a zero. And then after that, it's saying if you're a one or a high, it will be a LED pin is high which means the led pin turns on and then else which means if it's a zero it will be the low or the led pin will be off this code's really basic it just comes down to that digital read on the tilt pin is all it's doing because it's just seeing if there's a signal coming in and then the rest of it's basically just to show the led so that we know what's actually happening but like in that component there Instead of saying digital right LED pin high, you could get it to do whatever you wanted. 
you could get it to turn on a an alarm or something if you wanted what like a, from a speaker that's all just down to whatever imagination you want and whatever you want to do with your project but if we jump to the actual switch itself what I'm going to do is roll it back and forward side to side and you'll see that switch actually activating and the LED on board will actually light up. Now, I'm going to be quiet because I've actually got the audio there. You'll hear that ball rolling, hopefully. I might turn up the volume. You'll be able to hear it actually rolling and you'll see the light turn on. So that's about it for this tilt switch sensor module. I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you can keep up to date with projects similar to this. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.